Well, this video is going into one of those kind of miscellaneous piles. Um, one, I've had a, a, a request and uh, from someone who wants to see my uh, gun collection as it is right now. And two, I'm making this for uh, insurance reasons. Um, any of you guys are gun owners and have uh, homeowner's insurance or if you're like me in your apartment and you want renter's insurance, um, it's a good idea to have um, uh, videos or pictures of all your firearms in case they're stolen because they'll be replaced. So anyway, um, let's get on with it. This is the last one you guys saw me build. This is my M4 or M Forgery and uh, currently <clears throat> has a Leatherwood Hilux scope on it which I'm still trying out. I really like it so far. I'll make a video on it as soon as I uh, finish testing it out. And I don't know if you can see it with the reflection. Might be able to just make it out there with it painted. This is a M4 with an LMT upper, a Rock River lower. Um, it's got some Magpul parts on it, mil spec buffer tube, uh, Magpul ACS stock, Magpul uh, grip, um, Knight's Armament rail system, and Knight's Armament vertical grip. Uh, with, it has a, a CMC, CMG, I can't remember which one it is, trigger. Uh, basically, it's a match trigger. And um, a few little bits and parts there. This is my uh, AR-15 uh, M16A2 clone with a Colt upper, uh, Spikes Tactical lower, and then a standard, I think it's a DMPS, it might be a Delton parts kit, one of the two. And then up here is my LWRC M6A2 with an A-point red dot and a LaRue mount. I really like this. This is my favorite of all my ARs. Better be, it costs twice as much as all the other ones. With a Voltor stock, my eye grip, and a Daniel Defense vertical grip. Uh, this right here is my Moses Nagant sniper with a real Russian PU scope. And then this is that, uh, let's see here. <clears throat> my custom tactical Mosin Nagant, that was the Chinese Mosin. But right here is my 7mm Remington Mag bolt action Savage 111 rifle, which I just realized I just scratched the shit out of. So that kind of pisses me off. Other than that, it looked brand new. I've just noticed it somehow scratched it. So that sucks, but it's for sale if anybody wants it. Um, if you're local, preferred, but I might be willing to ship it to an FFL. With the scratches on it, that oh, that pisses me off. Other than that, it looks brand new. So uh, PM me if you're interested in it. I'll sell it for a good price. Uh, this is my little tactical Remington, or I'm sorry, uh, Ruger 10-22 and a Tapco uh, was an Interfuse stock, and <clears throat> my little <clears throat> Tapco red dot. This is a really good red dot, by the way. Um, this, you can't beat it for the money. I use it on my 1022. My brother uses it on his IMI Galil. I mean, it, it's, it's an insanely good red dot for the money. If you guys need a cheap red dot just to get you by, to upgrade later, definitely take a look at it. Over here is the AKs. That's my Romanian underfolder AK. That's that, uh, multi-cammed other Romanian AK. And this is my, uh, Ferrari AK here. This is my Gewehr Works AK-74 side folder. Um, I just really like my, of course, I, you know, uh, really like my AKs and really like my ARs, so it's a tough choice between the two if I had to pick up one of them, but uh, there's all the, uh, it's most of the rifles, and I've got some miscellaneous ones here. Uh, of course, that's my M1 Garand. That's a Springfield World War II manufactured Garand. Uh, right next to it is the first pistol, pistol, first rifle I ever owned, my uh, J.C. Higgins 22 long rifle bolt action with the micro grooved barrel, made in the 1950s, and it's awesome. Uh, back there is a Marlin 30-30 lever action, and if you're not, if you're a gun guy and you don't have a 30-30 rifle or lever action rifle, you really need to get one. They're just, they're awesome. They're just unbelievable. You feel like a cowboy or a gunslinger using them. Just go pick one up, even if you got a scope on it. They're just really good rifles. They're just so much fun to shoot. And then over here is my Remington 870 I've had forever. I've only got one shotgun now that I think about it. That's kind of uh, disappointing. And then right here is my pistols. 
As you can see, I'm a big SIG fan. <laughs> They're all SIG Sauer pistols. Uh, P229. This is the 1911 um, uh, GSR Re Revolution. And then uh, my little 230, 238 or 239, I can't remember. What does that say? 238, 380. So this is your uh, range pistol, combat pistol, pocket carry pistol. And I think that's it. Um, I've had a lot of other guns and sold them. I've given a couple of them to my brother, including my Carbon 15, AR-15, and a Century Galil. Um, and I sold, I had a Chinese Norinco AK, but somebody offered me an obscene amount of money for it. Probably about three times what I paid for it because he really wanted my Chinese one, so I sold it, uh, and I kind of regret that. I really like that AK. Um, beginning of the year, I'll probably be getting one more AK because, uh, well, it'll be I'll be buying it, but it'll be probably be for somebody else because she really wants one. So uh, anyway, that's it. I'm still working on this uh, CMR uh, rifle scope. I really like it, and I'll be doing as as best I can. I guess a review for it here pretty soon. So that's it guys. It's not like I said, it's not really a bragging video. It's mostly just because somebody wanted to see it and uh, I'll have it for insurance purposes in case my apartment ever catches on fire or gets broken into. So that's it. See ya.